Hello loves! So it has been quite an interesting couple of weeks. I have a ton of vlog footage that I am too overwhelmed to edit so I figured that I would do a quick book review. So I ended up reading This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. This is a YA duology. So this is the first and second book of the duology. This will be a spoiler free review. So no worries there. Um, so I guess I'll start off by letting you know a quick synopsis. This duology is basically about a world where the sins of humans mostly murder. So if somebody murders another human, they create monsters. And the city, Verity, I believe, is infested with them. There's monsters everywhere. And the mob mayor <laughs> uh, has kind of made these deals with the monsters. He has some of them as pets and he has this kind of agreement with them. If people pay him big money to be protected in the city, the monsters won't attack them. And he will basically discipline any monsters that go against that, this, that, or the other. He's like this big crime boss type character, but I think he's supposed to be the mayor. And everybody knows that this whole thing is kind of questionable. So that's the setup of the world, okay? And the story is told by two characters. I believe it's dual perspective. And one of them is the daughter of said mayor crime boss dude. But the other one is a boy who is on the lower side of the city, which is run by, I guess, like a kind of different group. They don't really mesh very well together. That group is very uh, focused on getting rid of the sinners who creates the monsters to kind of bring balance back and protect the people. So if you are a sinner, you can be safe in the northern part of Verity as long as you kind of pay big money to this crime mayor. <laughs> But on the lower end, they are more about just being good people, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so they have a treaty between each other to stop a war. And they have a feeling that something's going to happen to break that treaty and problems are going to ensue. So they send the boy to the school to kind of keep an eye on things. And it happens to be uh, the school that the mayor's daughter goes to. And so they kind of end up sort of befriending each other, sort of. Lots of things happen and <laughs> it takes a turn for fantasy interesting plots and whatnot. So that's kind of the story plot line. I'm not going to go too much into this one because obviously that'll give you spoilers, but I will give you my opinion. So starting with this book, I will now share with you some of the vlog footage I took while reading this and then I will let you know what I think about the book at the end. Okay, so I am more than halfway done and I am gripped. I am excited. I think I'm going to try and read the next book after this. <laughs> This is, this is great. This is, I, I like it. I like, I likes it. I likes it. I likes it a lot. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the book doesn't disappoint me at the end. <laughs> okay, so I just finished this Savage song. I absolutely adored it. It was great. And now I'm gonna get ready to start our dark duet. All right, so in the end, I ended up loving this book, as I'm sure you could see by the vlog footage that I included. I ended up giving this like five stars. I loved being immersed in everything. I enjoyed the ride. I was excited to see what was going to happen. And I was excited for the next book. Now, this is my second duology from Victoria Schwab, the first YA version. This one definitely has a YA feel to it compared to Vicious, the other series that I ended up reading. Similar to Vicious, I was very into this one and I just overall really enjoyed it and was excited to read the second book. Now, without going into too much detail about this book, let's get into some of my vlog
vlog footage of me reading it and then I'll tell you my rating and thoughts about this book. Hello y'all, it is editing me here and I realized that I didn't film nearly as much vlog footage while reading the series as I thought that I did. So I can't find any footage of me reading the second book. So whoops. <laughs> Now, I really enjoyed this book a lot. There were some similarities to Vengeful and how I felt about things not following a very specific path and not having the same, I guess, interest as I had in the first one. But unlike Vengeful, I was still really engaged in this book the whole way through. So much so that I was thinking about giving it a five stars. I think I ended up giving it a high four stars because there were some parts where things were a little bit slow and I kind of just wanted it to move forward, but that didn't happen a lot. So it's kind of on the fence, I would say. Uh, regardless, I still found this really interesting and together I think this series is absolutely fantastic. So if you're interested in this, I definitely recommend it and think you should definitely check it out. I really like V.E. Schwab slash Victoria Schwab. I kind of wish these were not young adult. I feel like I would have enjoyed it more if they were just adult fantasy, but I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. I do also really like the way that this book ended, even though stuff and things. <laughs> When you read it you'll know what I mean uh, but I think it was done very well personally and hopefully you enjoy it too. Anyway uh, that wraps up this quick reading review vlog thing. If you liked it do let me know since I'm doing something different. If you stuck around until the end please include this emoji and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more content like this. I feel like on weeks where I'm not doing as much I will probably do this instead of my regular reading vlogs since those take a lot of time to set up and edit. So if you do like this let me know because I might do more of these. I I enjoy the fact that it's just focused on these two books instead of a random collection. So if you're just interested in learning about this, this is the chance. So hopefully you enjoyed it. All right, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye! Until the next time, I will...